Kristen Finney with Green Publishing, and today I'm here with the Emergency Management Director, Tom Sisko. Mr. Sisko, can you tell me a little bit about your family? Sure. Um, well, I'm originally from Ohio, lived here all my life, and came down to Florida in 2008 and was Emergency Management Director for the University of South Florida. And then I took the job here in Madison, came up here in 2010. Um, married, got a dog, no children. Um, happy to be up here in North Florida now. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about your involvement in the emergency management? Well, like I said, I've been in emergency management for 11 years now. I was a director in Ohio for eight years and then, and of course, came down to Florida looking for some warmer weather. Okay, and then what major or minor disasters have you had to handle since you became emergency management director? Well, in Florida, none so far, which is, which is good. In Ohio, we had three presidential disasters, um, flooding, um, ice and snow, both all, all three of those were presidential disasters which we had to handle. Okay, and then what preparations should Madison County take if there's a hurricane? Well, it's the same as you should take all the time. Um, you know, you should have your emergency supply kit on hand all the time, three days worth of supplies in case, you know, there is a disaster and people can't get to you right away, you need to have those supplies in place. Um, if a hurricane's approaching, that's fortunately one thing in Florida, we have time to prepare for that and um, they just need to monitor um, the news media, uh, monitor emergency management's website. We also are on Facebook and we will put out information there to tell people what to do. And then if it comes to a point where they need to evacuate, we'll let them know when to evacuate. Okay. Are there any storms that we should be watching right now that could threaten the county? Well, the only one out there right now is um, Tropical Storm Ophelia and they're predicting that that storm will go up the east coast as the last few have done. Okay. Are there any things look local citizens can do to help in case of disasters? Well, once we have a disaster, we have a CERT team, I believe we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but um, you know, once a disaster happens, we'll put out a call for volunteers. And it's, it's kind of interesting, in all the disasters I've worked throughout the years, when a disaster happens, you have a spontaneous group of volunteers show up to help. And we have some, we'll have someone to organize those group of volunteers and let them do things that they're experienced at, and if they're not, then we'll, just, we'll have other things for them to do. Okay. And then explain what CERT is. Are there any CERT classes scheduled in the near future um, or anything like that? CERT is the Community Emergency Response Team, and that's a, that's a federally um, organized program that they started years ago, right after 9-11. Um, and um, what that is, is basically it's volunteers that come together, and we have a CERT class, which teaches them basic first aid, different things, traffic control, different ways they can be of assistance during a disaster or an emergency as a volunteer. Um, right now we don't have a class scheduled, but if anybody's interested in it, they can call my office and we can get them you know, signed up for that. And also you can still come to the meetings if not having the class will still take you as that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for meeting with us thank today. Thank you.